Zijn geen idee, als jij soms geen maten. Net zoals je daar eens vertelt als je lekker leert. Show us, teach us, bring it all together. Penny our friend here at E. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Show Me How. I'm Gloria Bastos. Today we're going to be working with pewter. It's a pliable type of metal perfectly suited for the modern crafter to engrave, raise or emboss using basic tools to create modern 3D decorative designs. Lisa, thank you so much for joining me. Hi Gloria, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now this all looks very interesting and I see you've added a little bit of colour to your pewter. Is that something new? Yes, I think it's been, and um, pewter has been around for a, lo a, a couple of years. Yes. But the modern way and the more contemporary way of doing it is adding a twist. So yes. that's what we've done. Now, does it always have to be bright colours or could we use like coppery sort of effects? Or? Um, well, yes, you can use coppery sort of effects. I suppose it does also um, depends on the project that you want yes. and the, the feel that you want to create with your right. pewter designs. Right. Lisa, I believe we're making this stunning serviette ring today. I can't wait to see how you get achieve all these colours and things, so show us well, how. Actually, it's quite easy. We start off by making a mould yes. like this by using the um, artist stencil board. It's a great yes. board because it can absorb um, um, water okay. and um, it can fold easily. So, And this is perfect. available in any craft shop? Yes, in the art craft and stationery shops. Fantastic. Be able to find. So start off by using your ruler and your pencil. Okay. Drawing a line measuring 5 centimeters to 20 centimeters. Okay. And then dividing it into 4 centimeters segments. Segments. Mm -hmm. Yes. And You've sign prepared up for us I've before. I've done that, yes. Good. <laughs> right. So then it looks like this. Okay. You've got your, it's very important for you to do the five segments. Yes, although this has only got four sides. Yes, because when you start, you take your ruler, you start folding it okay. on the marks. Every four c centimeters, you start folding. Yes. And then, which is quite easy to fold with the board. I see that and it, it doesn't tear. It doesn't tear. Mm -hmm. And it's quite sturdy. Okay. So, and then you start folding. As you can see, like this, we've got five. Bend, bend. Okay. So the the, the last two and overlap. Then, yeah, that overlaps okay. like that. Okay. So we've got this one then already fold like yes. that. Yes. And then what you do after it's been folded, take your glue. Any glue. Um, well, yes, you can any any paper glue, okay. but it's later very important to use pewter glue right. to attach the pewter okay. to your board. But at board. this stage, any any paper, any paper or craft glue, glue yes. would do. Okay, That's fine. and we basically stick it to, stick it stick together. Stick it to that. Yes. Okay. So, so you've got your mold on that. Side. Fantastic. Right. And that's what we're going to use to put the pewter over. Lovely. That's right. Good. Right, Gloria. Then the second part. Mm -hmm. Very important, we've got a, a pewter working board here. Yes. It's felt covered on one side and then you've got your plywood on the other side. Very Stick clever. like this. So it just makes it easier. Else you yes. do hard surface and your felt on the other. Yes, okay. So what we're starting with is your A4 piece of pewter. Now, uh, pewter sheets are also mm. available from most craft shops, aren't they? Craft and art and um, stationery shops, okay. yes. Okay, and it's, it's a nice malleable metal, so you can mould it around any, any shape, yes. I suppose. Yes, that's why this, is, um, this pewter contains a little bit of lead. Is so that not poisonous? Um, you know, it, I don't find it poisonous. Okay. What I do, some people do use the latex gloves. Yes. But all I do, I do my whole project and then I just wash my hands. Okay. Fantastic. So it's quite a safe craft. Yes, very safe. Fantastic. Not suitable for little children. Okay. Yeah, because the patina that uh, would be toxic. Yes, yes, yes. But, for but without the patina, you can you can do yes. it as long as you keep it shiny. Yes, shiny. Lovely. That's right. Right. So you've got your A4 piece of pewter. Yes. Then you start using it also. Um, so you measure it. Measure it. it. But it's important to know that then your pewter sheet that you're going to cut must be smaller okay. than the one that we used here. Then your, your Why must it be smaller? Because this folds like there. Mm. Okay, your, 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 your overlap. Yeah. Overlap, you mm -hmm. have to overlap. Well, your pewter does not get an overlap okay, at all. Okay. So you've cut it, I cut this five centimeter by 16 and a half centimeters, where this one is five centimeter by 20, 20 centimeters. Okay. 
Yes. So we're going to overlap just that half a centimeter. Well, actually, five, four and a half centimeters. Four and a half. Yes. Okay. So if I look at this here, that's the the, the little overlap, overlap that we have. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. You can, of course, just um, if you want to decorate that with the beads or with um, some velvet ribbon. Yes. If it's on the underside, you'll never see yes, it anyway. Yes, you know, you won't. I'm Especially dying to for see. for a bright place, it's nice and rugged. So. Dying to see how you work the pewter. So. Right. What I first started doing, um, you can have your a design that you've been working on or photocopy that you can yes. put onto your pewter and okay. then trace it. I just started taking by using a tool, a ball and tool. Okay. And then you start with your design on the hard side. Right. You draw your, your picture or your design. Um, I've used double-sided pewter, so... What does that mean? Double side means that you can use either side. Okay, there's so no there's no right or the, wrong. No, there's no right or wrong, mm -hmm. and the patina will take on both sides. Okay. So you use a single sided. If you make up a boo boo, then you can um, just can't reuse it on the other side. Yes. Okay. okay. Perfect. Now you're lucky that you've got you can design freehand, but I think it's a fairly simple and forgiving design, isn't it? Yes, very simple. Okay. Very very simple. All right. Once we've drawn out our design. We've drawn the design and then you start turning it around to work on your felt. Okay. Still on the, what I call on the negative side. Yes. You then start pushing out the areas the that areas. you want to be sunken. That's right. Okay. So in this case, it's the areas where yes. you've colored. So, yes, no. The areas that I used here is going to be on that side if you have a look now. Okay, it's oh I starting see. To stand up oh, so like you're that. actually busy working the outline Outlined at this stage. First, okay. And then when you turn your pewter, and this would still be done on your felt. Yes. Then you turn your, after you've done that, you turn your pewter around and you start using your ball and tool and pressing that back. Which is, which is basically, basically a, a soft like paper a soft, tool, isn't it? Yes, okay. a soft paper tool. I find it easy working with a ball and tool because it's soft and it doesn't make a lot of marks on the pewter. Lovely. So you work your whole design through yes. and then maybe after then you end up with a design like this. Okay. Like Very tonight. nice. Okay, so you've, you've pushed in everything that needs to and all of the outlines are, are nice yes. and embossed. So I started on, the, on this side, mm -hmm. drawing my design yes. on the wood. Okay. Right. And then Turning you went onto the felt? Yes, felt, and started press, pe pressing it through okay. on the felt, so that would be your positive side Perfect. of the computer. Alright, our right. next step would be what? Well now we need, as you can see, we used um, a gold leaf here. Is this gold leaf? It's okay. gold leaf, it's variegated leaf, Yes. it's yes. got a lot of different colours in, it yes. makes it more um, exciting and more vibrant. Okay. But you can use a gold leaf or aluminium as well. So would you put your gold leaf on before you patina the, the pewter? No. What you first do is you, I use Tac Tac glue. Yes. What is that Tac Tac glue? I've never a, heard of that. Tac Tac is a... Um, is it specifically for gold leaf? It, yeah. Okay. It's specifically for gold leaf onto pewter. Okay. But you first do your patina. Okay, otherwise right. you're going yes. to damage your, yes. your so the gold tac -tac glue and that comes lost. Last, okay. Yeah. Now all the right. patina is the scary bit because that's when it, it suddenly all goes black and ugly and um, before it becomes beautiful again. Yes, so. it does go black and ugly, <laughs> I suppose, but um, then you have got your brasso putting it over and then it cleans and you polish it up. Yes. And because this is like more a rugged look for a bright place or okay. outside, um, I don't, the patina with the black enhances it, yes. I think. All right, it lovely. All Let's get onto the patina because there's so many right. steps to do and unfortunately time yes. is running out. So. so you just take your patina, little small cloth, soft cloth. Okay. Um, I'm just going to turn this around like that. Yes. On the positive side you start. Mm -hmm. That's the side that's going to be facing out. Facing out, yeah. Okay. That side that you're getting here. And you start putting on your patina. This is, and for me, this is always the scary part. I've done a little bit of pewter and I love it, but this but is the, the scary part. You know what is also, if you are hesitant using the patina like this, you can always just dip your um, brush into the patina and the brush it on. Brush it on. Now, the, at yeah. this stage, you should be wearing gloves. I know you don't like wearing them, yes. but you should protect your fingers with that, with them, shouldn't you? Well, I can't work with gloves, but okay. it's why it depends on person. But yes, I suppose for safety. Yes, you yeah. would, because this is a chemical, isn't it? Yeah, it's a chemical, okay. but it's uh, the it's not that toxic. Okay. And then, right. once you've applied your patina, you wait for it, give it a few seconds to go black, to react, yeah, mm -hmm. to react, and then. 
you start off with another cloth. I find it easier not using the same yes. piece of soft cloth. And you take your brasso, plain brasso, okay. which you use in the household. Now, while you put the brasso on there, patina, I believe, comes in different um, colors, if I can put it that way. You can either yes. get a black reaction and or a... Or copper. A, okay. You can find it in copper as well. So the metal state is exactly the same. It's just your patina that reacts. It's the patina that difference, mm -hmm. and the copper's got more shiny gold and copper look, where okay. the patina makes it black. So okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And All then right. you take your... Brasso. Your first, wipe your patina off so you can see the embossed areas are black and you yes. start just wiping it hard okay giving it a little more to black. stop the reaction basically yes mm -hmm. and then you take your brasso and you start polishing okay and um, how long do you, or how much brasso how, how many times do you need to go it, over you know what it depends on how um, bright and how shiny you want your product to look Yes. So I don't make it so bright. I didn't do it so bright because we add the variegated leaf to okay. it to enhance it. All right. It. So okay. once we've done okay. the brasso, we then mm. polish it up, you do we? polish it up, yes. Okay. And so then I'm dying to see right, the, then the gold leaf. We get to the gold <laughs> leaf or the variegated leaf. Okay. Um, and that comes, you can get either buy it silver or gold or, or as you variegated. say, variegated. Yes. Very interesting. And that's also available in okay. all the art and craft shops. And they're, they're, this is where we need the special glue. This is where we need the special glue. Okay. So first you start with your <coughs> protector. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to open it here. All right. With a little brush. To get you, into all yeah, the crevices and into right. everything. And you start. And you're basically going to put the, the, the gold leaf in the recessed in areas the, yes. there. Lovely. In the indented area. So I, I just put it in like that not too much or else it stays sticky for too long let's just Yet, do one at this stage this one does it doesn't mm. dry completely okay so it right. must be still it a little must bit be sticky. sticky for the your variegated leaf to, to stick to glue you okay know, to glue. Mm -hmm. right then what i find easier is using you can use a, a tweezer okay because this to is pick up the leaf to pick up the leaf yes, yes. just get it this side um one by one like that but for you, it's important to just put a little bit of powder onto your fingertips. Otherwise, or they're very else sticky. It, it mm -hmm. sticks to your fingers. Okay. Yeah. So, <coughs> just, just plain baby powder. Okay. Okay. Right, and, and then, then you can pick it up easily. Then I, yeah, pick it up. Like oh, that. you actually tear bits pieces. Off. Yeah, okay. It's off and there. Yes, it's on the side on that here. Side. Sorry. <laughs> I turned it around. No, no, it's fine. And you just press it down oh, firmly like this. Okay. Right. And then yeah. it's going to stick to wherever you have glue. Wherever you have glue. And then okay. if you've got excess, and you, you know, like gold leaf that's on the sides. No, no, you just take your finger again, little little bit of, of powder. powder again, and then because it does not stick to your finger, okay. so you clean it up oh, on the right. sides like that. Perfect. Right, so you do your whole design or your serviette. Yes, ring. Mm -hmm. And then it comes out like this. Stunning. Very right. nice. All right. So and you've scored the, the where we need to fold it and it's yes. a matter of, of gluing it of on now here. Gluing it. And you so said we need special... There um, you have to use your pewter glue. Okay. I found that pewter do not stick to um, cardboard or there are, uh, any cardboard as easily. Okay. So what so you do, you paint it here. You paint it on with a nice brush. Okay. Not, uh, not too thick? Not, no, not too thick, but mm -hmm. also you need a, a nice thickish brush, not too thick. Okay, and perfect. This is a number um, 12 soft tacklon brush. Okay, and then it's a matter of, of folding it, of gluing folding it, it. Folding it. So you can make these in the morning and have a beautiful table setting in the evening. Yes, you can. Our next project is to create functional bookmarks and to add a touch of colour for those more psychedelic personality types. Lisa, what have you prepared for us? Well, we've got two bookmarks here, which... Laura, you're going to prepare for us. Okay. All right. <laughs> we start off by using the stencil board again yes. for the backing of the pewter. So I've okay. already pre-cut this and we're getting you started. Okay, fantastic. Right. I can't wait. Now, I'm not going to draw freehand though. Eh? No, you oh, are good. not. We're using the um, textured sheets yes. like this. Okay. And if you can't find a design that suits you, you're much more welcome to make your own by okay. using a cardboard. Within pre-cut out stencils. Very clever. And putting it over your 
Your pewter so, over so it. So all we're doing is we're finding any any surface with texture. Yes. And then we, we're going to yes. put our... I think you've the pewter wrapped around I wrapped it. it around. Okay. And it's important also to stick it with your masking tape so it does not move. Okay, design. otherwise your design will be all over yes, the place. That's Very right. nice. Okay. What tool do we use now to well, do this? I find it easier to take a soft cloth okay. and to start rub and press. So Fantastic. So we don't need welcome. a specific tool for that. No. Oh look not at that. In the beginning, yes. You know, so. because the pewter is quite pliable and malleable, the design comes through very nicely. Yes. Oh, That's lovely. Wonderful about the, and okay. it's also the double sided pewter. pewter. So softer. we don't have to worry about right and wrong. No. Okay, yes. once we've done this and right. we've rubbed our design on. Okay, then you can start with your paper stump. Yes. And you can just press it and get more reliefs inside. More detail. detail. Okay. Yes. Tell me a little bit about this paper pen that we're working with. Well, it's very soft, and yes, it um, is. usually when you work with uh, like the ball tool, yes. um, it's metal against metal. Then you can use a lubricant, okay. like an oil. But for so this we don't need no, that? No, no. Okay. Not for now. So all we're doing is we go right around the yes. design and we just create a little bit more definition. So your, that your design can come through. Yes, I can see that already. Yeah. Okay, I believe right. you've prepared one for us that's I already have, like that. Um, just oh, yeah, they are one, under yeah. my arm. <laughs> right, so you remove your pewter um, sheet from there. You cut it down to the same size as your artist's stencil board, okay. which is really the backing. And Let me just ask you quickly, do we wrap it around or we just stick it on top? Um, you use the pewter glue to yes. stick it on. Okay, on so we don't need, so we cut it exactly it. the same cut, size. Yeah, exactly the same. Okay. Right. Now, the techniques that we're going to use here are the same that you did before, hey? Yes. Of, of, of pushing, pushing out, out and, 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 and redefining. Yes. Which helps now is when you use your ball the tool, ball tool yes. yes, is just to press it out a little, you can do that. Let me do that. Yeah, just to press it out a little bit more to get it, give it more definition. Now, okay. and you say you can use a lubricant to, um, to give it a smoother it flow. Smoother flow. Okay, so we push out there and then. Gives you more definition and then you with your paper stump or your paper pen. Yes. You can, t you see you are working now on the felt on the side, soft on surface, the soft surface. To give me a little bit of give. That's okay. right. So now you turn your pewter around like that again mm -hmm. and on that piece you use your paper stump okay. and you press it down. Okay, so like what that. I'm doing is I'm actually pressing the flat areas yes, flatter, to flatter and then yes. we go back to the soft surface to make our, our um, deep the, areas the deep deeper. End that gives it more like a three-dimensional effect. Absolutely and that's mm. got to create the little the little pools yeah. as such. The pools are the indents. Okay. Right. Tell me something, while we're doing this, I've also heard of high relief work. Tell me a little bit about that quickly. Well, with the high relief, you always work on the felt side of yes. the board. You press it without a lot to give it a three-dimensional. Okay. Then you use your bees, that's when you use your beeswax with your tank. You melt your beeswax and, and you, you back it, it. Yeah. I think so that it can't. You had a sample yes, earlier that you were done. talking to me about. Yes, this is right. So the underneath here, that you will find the beeswax okay. because it won't dent. It won't push in when you yeah, when you press right. it. Okay, yeah. so, so you only need that when you've got quite a high quite relief. A very high um, three-dimensional look. Okay, yes. right, I'm right. dying to see what we do next with okay, this. Okay, then we've already done the patina. Okay. You take your patina like I did with the serviette ring. Yes, and then you that's the scary bit again where it goes yes, black, black and then and we take it off with the brasso. Yes, that's right, so okay. you can see done that. There. Yes, and it leaves a little bit of the dark the edges. Dark edges, just to give it a more um, antique sort antique of finish. Sort yeah? of finish yeah? Okay, perfect. Right, then you take your glass paints, which is on that okay. side. Is this the, the same kind of paint that we would use to do a, a, a mock um, stained glass finish? Um, you, it, this is very important for the pewter that you use a solvent base, or else okay. it would not. A solvent base glass paint. I see. Two. So um, you just use your colours, choose mm -hmm. your colours, let me open that for you, yeah. and you can start painting. Okay. Um, now you've gone with, with purples and pinks because this is obviously a girly gift. Yes. Okay, lovely. And straight out the Wonderful. bottle, eh? no problem with yes. that? Yes, no, no, no. And do okay. I paint it into the indented in, in size? In the indented size, which okay. would be in the, this one, or the, as we did here, the out. Okay, the three dimensional. Okay. One. So you right. can decide. That's entirely up I'm to you. I'm going to do this one. Now this is very translucent. It's, it isn't actually colouring in at all. So I just need to put yeah, in more. More. Okay. Perfect. All right. And now then 
So yes, carry on. This, you do put it in quite um, thick, thick. Mm -hmm. and then it takes the time to dry. That's what I was going to yes. ask you. How long will it yes. take to dry? About 30 to 40 minutes to okay. dry. Now, yes. once, once we've actually painted the flowers completely, mm -hmm. what would be our next step? Do we need to seal it in any way? Yes, you usually just a plain varnish. Okay. And then you just, after, at the end, after if you've punched your hole. Put in the colour ribbon the color that you like. Ribbon, then you take your varnish and you spray it. Okay. And you said it will take quite a while to dry? To dry, yes. Okay. Now, um, if I wanted to mix colours, can you mix these colours? Yes, you can mix them as long as it's all solvent based. Okay. So you just need a little other, um, like a mixing palette or yes. a mixing well. You can add your colours and obviously the colours that you can use is endless because you get all of different colours. Do you? So is it quite a, quite a, a lot of colours in, in the range? A lot of colours in the range. Fantastic. Yes. So basically I would paint it until it was finished, varnish it, seal it and for away. Well, obviously leave it to dry. Before leave it I to dry before you varnish. Okay. And, and then in the end, we will have a, an effect similar to that. Yeah, here and we've got the indented one that yes. looks like that. And here we've got the three-dimensional. Which, which sort of, it's, it's in relief as such. It's, yes. it's embossed yes, as such. Yes, that's right. So this is actually very simple. Once you've got the technique for the, for the pewter part of it, the painting is, is very simple. And then also you um, always must because this would be too soft just like this. Yes. So you have to put it onto a onto backing, a, backing okay. a sturdy backing. And yes. then punch your hole and put in whatever ribbons, ribbons take your fancy yes. and give it away to somebody or use so it for yourself. A perfect gift for Christmas. This was actually very simple. I thought it was going to be very complicated and the patina was scaring me a little bit, but I'm glad that I didn't have to do that. All right, now it's been done. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Thank Lisa. You I appreciate much. it. PNA. Show Me How was proudly colored by PNA. Suppliers of stationery, books, arts and crafts. PNA, color your world. PNA. PNA. Products available in store at PNA. Visit www.pna.co.za for further information. PNA.